Hey guys, Chris here with Little Roots Ranch and the turkeys. Um, and to, today we're coming for to you from the greenhouse and we're gonna talk about what happens when you sow peas and they're starting to come up and they're so beautiful and then all of a sudden you come out and all the tops are like cut off and just laying there and a lot of your peas are pulled out. And the reason I wanna do that video is because it just happened to me. Um, and so I want to explain what did that and the measures I've taken that have been holding up so far um, and why it's a co common problem. Um, so we'll get right to that and then after that I'm going to give you a tour of all the starts that I have inside um, and seedlings and then all the stuff that's outside. Not too much difference from last Saturday's video uh, but just to give you updates to see what I have going on and all that stuff for those that follow along. As far as direct sowing this week, I did sow yesterday uh, some carrots, some mochum carrots, uh, which are a shorter, like, great for spring uh, carrot. Um, and then uh, re-sown the peas. So I'll obviously get to that in just a moment. So hang on tight, I'll get a better angle. Okay, so as you remember, or might remember, I guess, I had sown these peas a little bit, was it before the 21st President's Day? I think so. And they started coming up and I was so excited. Um, and especially cause they were sown with, I mentioned before, but I have this program with the trans transitioning high school for um, students with uh, different needs. And so we were uh, working on planting these together and that was really exciting and then one day I came out and hopefully this hasn't happened to you though it's fairly common I came out and it looks like somebody had taken like say a pair of scissors and cut off all the little top of like all the growing tips not of all of them because there was a bunch and then not only that but there was a bunch of like little holes uh, where it looked like something had kind of like dug down and grabbed the pea. And so when I sow my peas, I sow them in like a, like a band this wide with three rows and about an inch apart. Um, and so there were a lot of peas in here. And I was so bummed that something, I don't know if it was like a little field mouse or a rabbit uh, or potentially a bird, I'm thinking rabbit or maybe a little mouse had gotten in here and had just messed with it and so I was really bummed because I love peas and not only that but the kids and I had planted them and so I was real bummed um but so as you can see here the first thing I took off was the reme and this I just lay on top I don't know if it actually does anything I always get it wet and I feel, feel like it makes it harder for anything to get to it and then I used U-Post, you can really use anything to like kind of hold everything down just to create like a barrier. And I had thrown like a shovel over it and like a few other things. Um, but here you'll notice dug down, this is hardware cloth. Um, I don't know what else it's called, but I use it for the chicken coop. It's stronger and smaller than, uh, oh, what's it called for the chickens? Chicken wire, yeah, chicken wire. Um, sorry, I'm having a hard time here, but anyways, and so oh, water just got on my glasses. All right. Anyways, so if I lift this up and this has been working so far in the edges. So basically took this hardware cloth was like, I don't know, two feet wide or long or whatever, or wide. And, um, I bent it into a triangle and then press it down into the soil to stop any like rabbits or well, basically anything from getting to the peas. Um, so that way they can't eat them. I think that they try and pull out the, the plants to get to the actual pea in the ground. And so that's what causes the, the tops to be lying around. And peas are every animal's favorite. And peas are amazing, especially in the early, like you'll have this problem more the earlier that you plant peas because these peas are gonna be tastier than anything I have on the farm right now. And because peas are just amazing. Um, but anyways, so I did a little V shape. You can kind of see it here. 
And then, I don't know if you can see my piece. Let me change the camera angle and I'll give you, oh, I didn't realize I had all this stuff on me. I'll give you a better angle of to show you what happened to my piece and then I'll show you more what I've done. Okay, so here you can see in the front is a little bit where my old peas were. And I have recently sewn a row of peas in this back area, just right alongside of it, because there won't be enough to be a viable. Um, and I wanted to see how it worked before I went to a new area. But you can kind of see, see you see this one? Let me put it out right there. See, it's just that little tip. I don't need camera to focus on it. And there were just a bunch of them just lying around. See if, here's this one, oops, this one, here's another one. I think I picked the majority of them out. But, oops, where'd the other one go? Did I drop it? Whatever. But anyways, you, you get the point um, of the piece. So there's those. And then you can see it goes on further down the road but all my people like there are some that are doing okay obviously you can see them um but and that only started happening after I put in the barrier um and of course like I said I, I re sewn the peas oops there's a little rogue one there and then I used like some bags to stuff and get that down in there I used some bags to stuff the corners and then on the other side I used a bucket <laughs> And so this is what I'm using to try and predator proof my peas because I want to enjoy my peas. I'm not trying to grow them for uh, the bunnies. So obviously I'll keep you updated with how it works. I've got another pea planting, a more, a large massive pea planting and that's outside of the greenhouse coming up uh, within the next about week, week and a half, or no, probably within the next week I'm thinking of getting it done. And for that, I won't be able to have all the tools that I have here, but what I'll probably do is use this reme. I think it's like 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 or something like that, I'm not sure. And then I'll set that down and then I'll use, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, rebar, I have like 20 foot rebar poles, things, and I'll set those going across to kind of create a barrier I did the same thing last year for my sunflowers, uh, sunflower and bean patch because beans, peas, sunflowers, they're so delicious as sprouts and so everything on earth wants to eat them. So you have to protect them, especially because I don't use like traps or anything like that. Um, so this is, yeah, so I'll go ahead and finish tightening this back up, put this into the soil here. Obviously, I'll remove it once the plants get a little bit bigger. I'll actually remove this. Um, it's more for because the the pea, which is what they actually want, is going to uh, like disintegrate like within a little bit amount, a little amount of time. I've heard that it's when they're like one inch or two inches or six inches. I've heard different numbers, um, but gonna give it a little bit of time before I remove it but I also want to make sure I remove it before they grow through these little holes because then obviously when I pull it out it's gonna just rip the plants apart so put that back and then with this stuff I don't know if you of course it's all dirty but so you can see I don't know if you can see me through it but I can see you through it um, it's basically it does help warm a little bit not that I necessarily need that um, and it allows the water through. So when I water, I just literally water right over it and it just goes through, which is really nice. But yeah, so that's what I've done to protect my peas and I'll keep you updated on how well, fingers crossed, that worked. Um, and then I'll show you a little bit of the starts that I have on the inside and then I'll show you what I have in the greenhouse. And yeah, happy gardening. So we're heading inside. Okay, so not a whole lot has changed, but I'll still go through them. So these are succession onions, it's green onions, some fresh uh, red eating onions and leeks. And 
Did I say scallions? I can't remember. And then here, <laughs> these are four peppers that I was trying to grow. Um, they were from a dehydrated like peppers that I made some enchilada sauce with. So I don't have a lot of faith in them, but I'm trying. And then these are artichokes. You can see there the little things, but they're not, they're not um, painful yet. But those are artichokes. My dahlia seeds. These are my um, eggplant, um, Asian and regular Italian, I should say. My Asian have all come up in the back are the Italian and they haven't come up at all. Oh, actually two of them came up um, in their defense. It was really old seed though. And then this is new. This is rhubarb. Um, nothing to, to see here. I just seeded it, what, one, two days ago. So nothing new going on there. And then these are some more onions. Only one has germinated. Um, onion seed doesn't keep very well, so I wasn't really expecting too much. Uh, down here is lemongrass in the front. That's what baby lemongrass looks like. And in the back are some celery. And then of course, here's oregano. And then yarrow, thyme, sage. These guys need to get out into something. But yeah, that's where my indoor seed starting is at so far. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you some stuff that I have or what I have going on in the greenhouse. So I'll show you that right now. Those are all my other onions. They're still looking bad from when we had that really cold weather. Um, and then here, look at that beautiful Chinese cabbage. There's a little insect on there. I have to check him out. Anyways, um, and then there is my regular green cabbage. And then coming over here, this one's still the regular, same as the last one I showed you, green cabbage. This is a purple cabbage. These are trays that I need to fill. And then spinach, spinach, beet, 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 um, two golden and one red. And then over here, not much has happened. The arugula is starting to pop through, but here we have uh, Devil's Tongue Romaine. This is Drunk Fizzy Woman, which Frizzy Woman, which is a butterhead. Mizuna, Totsoy, um, what is this? Oh, Carlton, it's an Asian green. Bok choy, bok choy. What's this? Mustard green. This is the arugula. You can see just a few little guys starting to peek out. And more arugula here. And then this is, what is this one? Oh, black seeded Simpson lettuce. And then these are, both of these last two are lettuce mixes. So those are all the seeds I've started outside so far. And the, uh, I guess some of the greens that are hardening off. Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below or any updates of your own. And uh, I'll see you next video. I try and do a video every Wednesday and Saturday. So happy gardening. Have a great day. Bye.